since I'm here videoing, I shall do a random review. And this will be on Repo, the genetic opera. Now, I don't remember how I came across this originally. Now, I, I had gotten it from the library. But I almost think I heard about it. That's who I... Okay. It was a girl whose name is Mental Shiver. And I think she has another channel, too. I don't think she... She doesn't do much of anything on YouTube anymore, but... She she had some really good videos. She was from Sweden, I think. And she had mentioned that she liked Repo the Genetic Opera. And for some weird reason, I kind of Googled it and found, like, clips of it online on, on YouTube. And I'm like, hmm, I'm really kind of liking this. And then I found it in the library and, you know, watched it. Now, if you're a Rocky Horror fan, you finally have a double feature. Now, you can start off with this and then finish with Rocky and you got it going. This is freaking awesome. And and you wouldn't think the people that are in here would work together. You got Paris Hilton. You got Sarah Brightman. And if you're a Phantom fan, you know who this woman is. She was like the first Christine. Alexa Vega, who was from uh, Spy Kids. Uh, Anthony Stewart Head. Ogre. I'm not quite sure who he is. Terrence Zundick. Zundich. <laughs> He does a grave digger and it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and Paul Servino. And it's basically about repo men. And you have this company that basically plastic surgery and things like that are kind of, think like makeup gurus with surgery. It's sort of something you do on a weekly basis or, you know, you have to have the, the newest heart on the market. And it's that type of thing. And if you can't pay, you know, you, you can, like, um, you can't quite rent to own. But there's a <laughs> Lease them, I guess is the term. But if you can't pay up, the repo men will come and you screwed. Because if, like, if you can't pay off your spine, they will rip it out of your body. So, the repo man here has a daughter named Shiloh. And there's a whole th connection of Shiloh's mother, Marnie who isn't in the movie, she's sort of the catalyst to all these people's lives, how they're all connected through her. I would not have wanted to be this woman's friends, because you, <laughs> you would be screwed if you were her friend. And... It, how do you explain this? Well, I'll, I'll read the back here. Stunning and original. In the not-so-distant future, a worldwide epidemic of organ failures devastates the planet. Out of tragedy, a savior emerges. Genco, a biotech company that offers organ transplants for a price. Those who miss their payments are scheduled for repossession and hunted by the repo man. But that's kind of where it starts as far as like the disease, but that's not actually kind of what affects people in the movie because once that started, it started to become a fashion statement. Uh, the bonus features kind of suck because I know there's more to it than that. But what's there is kind of cool. And the music is awesome, too. It's this weird mixture of, like, Broadway and opera and, you know, the Rocky Horror type stuff. And it's a bit more gory than, well, obviously, you actually see people ripping spines out. So it is gory compared to Rocky Horror. But it's not, like, in your face. Because there's one scene where you have the Repo Man talking to his daughter. And, of course, they don't know what each other is doing, right? So he's talking to her like, hey, are you okay, dear? You know, is, is everything all right? You know, talking to, like, a worried father calling the daughter while he's ripping the spine out of the sky. <laughs> so it's just this really hysterical kind of thing. And, and in some ways it's kind of funny because it's just silly. But Paris Hilton actually does a good job. I mean, there's a cheese factor to it, but it fits without being silly in some ways it's not like well paris hilton doing her thing it's it's she does a good job i was impressed i wasn't quite sure and again gravedigger sexy and it i i highly recommend this if you like you know musicals even if you're a horror fan maybe you'd like like this you know if you're the rocky horror group and you have not heard about this this came out in like early 2000s i think 2008 so, 
I think it's a more of an underground thing, so. I got this on Amazon for like 10 bucks, maybe not even that. So, I was happy to find that. So this will definitely be a good good match for my Rocky Horror Night, so. <laughs> Grave gray robber. I can't sing with feet, so. <laughs> I'll not torture you with that, but. Highly recommend Repo the Genetic Opera. And if you know of the Devil's Carnival, it's the same people who do that. And Emily Adam is in that. But I don't know where, if it's on DVD, if it came out in the theater. I don't know where, like, I'll have to look and see because I know they've done it, but I don't know if it's a play, if it's on a, you know, a recording. I don't know. So. If you know that, you'll want this. So, I'm, I'm hoping something will see. So, thank you for watching this random review of Repo the Genetic Opera, a film by Darren Lynn Bozeman. Bozeman. That person. <laughs> so, thank you for watching, and see you next time.